guess what? No trap, no coon. Old Johnny Sneakum done got me. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here running our traps. And come up here, the weather warmed up. And I figured the coons would stir and uh, and guess what we got right here. We got a good looking little coon. He's a young coon, but uh, he'll eat turkey eggs just as good as anyone else. So we're gonna get him out of here. Uh, he'd actually got up here and messed with my bobcat set, pulled my uh, uh, polyfill out from underneath my pan and kind of ruined that set. So I'm kind of happy to get him because uh, it's kind of been a pain in the butt. But anyway, we're gonna get him out of here and move on down the line. Hey guys, what's up? So I wanna to talk to y'all for just like a couple seconds here about what I feel is one of the most common mistakes that new trappers make. Okay, we've all been there. When we were brand new, we just started out. We would put it, we'd set a trap, and then what would we do? We'd expect it to catch that night or the night after. And yeah, some people do catch the same night or the next night, but I find in low population areas like where I trap at, we don't have uh, very many coyotes like you would when you're watching somebody up in Wyoming or Illinois or somewhere, or even in agriculture land. When they're trapping coyotes and they're putting up these impressive numbers, that can be related to you, depending on where you're at. For, for the most part of us, we don't have that density of, of coyotes here. So what I used to always do is if I went four or five days a week without catching, I'd think, hmm, I need to rebait, need to relure. Uh, and I know I say lure weird. It's my accent. I cannot help it anyway. Uh, I'm just kidding, guys, but it really is my accent. So you always want to relure or you want to do something. And that's that's completely unnecessary. I feel like you're doing more damage than you are good. I want to show you all something. Right over here is a set that I had made well over a month ago. I pulled these traps over a month ago. Uh, and just, just look. So right here is a dirt hole. And... You can kind of see it's kind of been worked a little bit, but you know, they've definitely been in here. Well, let me show you this flat set on the other side of the road. I mean, you got to look this cow track right there. You got to think about this, okay? This has been here over a month, and this was a flat set. This was not a dirt hole set. You see this right here? That was a little bitty hole the size of a of a stake driver. Cow track right there. And that's fresh too. That ain't from the other day. Uh, that's 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 fresh. It's from the next last couple nights. Stop thinking that these sets that you put in two three weeks ago need to be refreshed. They do not. It's rained on this set. It's got cold on this set. It's been over a month, and as you can see, the cows are still working it. Now I'm trapping on another farm right now for calving season, and as soon as I get under that, I'm gonna come back here. And I'm going to reset that flat set right there, okay? Because the cows are working it. I'm going to put a trap there, and I'm probably going to catch. So just remember, guys, right there is proof that all this unnecessary crap about having to relur every two weeks. Some people are like, well, you need to relur after good rain. That's bull crap, okay? Bull crap. Don't worry about it. Put your sets in. Put your good lure, put your good bait in there, and forget about it. Let them hunt. And I promise you, when a cow comes by there and he's hungry, or he's in another type of way, he's going to stop by there and he's going to work it, and he's probably going to get caught. Stop making it hard. Put some traps in the ground and catch some fur. Hey, guys. What's up? If you're enjoying the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Drop us a comment about anything. Helps us out, helps us get our videos spread out everywhere, and we appreciate you watching. Well, here we are, all right? So uh, I come down here, as you can see, you can probably see the road behind me here. I had a dog proof set right here next to this road. Probably should have known better. Anyway, so from the road, I can see a catch circle, and uh, looks like I caught something, so I come down in here. 
Uh, as you can see, you can see the catch circle right there. Come down here, get a better look at it. Definitely had something here chewed on that tree. I had my uh, dog proof staked off here to this tree. Guess what? No trap, no coon. Old Johnny Sneakum done got me. I come down here, and this is a little bit of blood there. Uh, classic case of someone driving by that road right there and seeing a coon in a trap and not having the common decency to leave it alone and wait for me, the rightful owner of said trap and technically now of said coon, to come get it, take care of it, skin it, but he decided to steal a coon and a trap. So I knew better, I knew better sitting on this road right here, I, I, but I had faith in fellow humanity that this wouldn't happen. Guess what it did? I guess it's part of it but it's a crappy part of it uh ticked off anyway take this as a lesson don't sit next to highways as good as it looks because guess what old johnny sneakums gonna come up behind you and steal your crap when you ain't looking if if you're in a bad need of dead gum dog proof trap just send me your address before you start stealing crap and i'll send you one how about that anyway i'm going home i'll see y'all later